Okay, I just made an orange candle. It's a small one. That. That's a baseball. Ready to was I took a knife and cut the top off. Or the side, whatever. I cut the top off. Yeah. And I took a spoon. Took a spoon in it. Yeah, that this was wrong. But took a spoon and turned it. An over a bowl, so it might get juice everywhere. And, um, after I got that out, well, I ate it so I didn't waste it, but after I got that out, I took paper towel and wadded it up, put it in the orange, twisted it, and then yeah, threw it in the garbage so it would be dry inside. And then I took, um, these. My aunt had them. She wasn't using them, so she let me have them. I took two of these, broke them up, put them in here. Well, not in here first. I broke them up and um, put them in a can. Hold on, okay. bear with me a second. I'll get the can. You know, soup can that I had. I took, broke them up, put them in the can, and just set the can on the stove on medium heat, and just let the wax melt. And I took some oven mitts and held the can and then just poured it into the orange. And then I took a piece of twine and I took a piece of twine about half this length. And got all the frizzies off of it. And then just kind of twisted it. Twisted the twine. And then put the twine in the hot wax. And I had two oranges. So I put only one. So I used my even enough pliers to hold the wick and to hold it up out of the wax. And I said and then in the freezer so they pull the wax out so that this he's holding the wick and the other one's just holding that up so that you can go over the wick and it turned out okay and it, it's a candle no, it's it not a candle and then if I can light it it won't light it up I think it's like one of these wine and not like a little bit It actually holds quite a bit of wax too. So it's